<laughs> what the? You're like James Bond in a minivan? I love that minivan. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I need to be that guy one last time for us. The Family Plan will debut on Apple TV+. Plus. That'll happen on December the 15th. That is your entertainment report here in Hollywood. I'm Sam Rubin. Sam, thank you. Well, good morning, Valley, and thank you for joining us on NBC 23. Today, I'm Adam Cardona. I'm meteorologist Jessica Kirk. And I'm your lifestyle host, Danielle Bonda. Awesome. Happy election day, guys. Yes, yes. That's nice. it's Tuesday, in case you <laughs> forgot. Yeah, Tuesday morning, yeah. 530. If your time to head out the door is right now, be safe on the road. Well, it is election day, as we just mentioned. And we'll tell you about the cities who have mayoral races. But Jessica, give us a look at your out-the-door forecast. I know. Maybe some people getting up early, mm -hmm. get some stuff done yeah. before they head out to work, to school, the and polls, vote, yeah. whatever that might be. The good news is we don't have a very busy weather day, but we do have a little bit of fog building out there, so make sure you're driving safely. I haven't been able to find a camera that has any fog, of course, during the next hour. We'll take a look at traffic, see if we can find anything on there. Right now, though, temperatures are in the 60s. Some of you guys might need a jacket. That's a little bit cold for you. 66 on South Potter Island and then 66 on the other side, Rio Grande City and Roma. Winds are also fairly calm this morning, running anywhere from calm winds to around five or six miles per hour. We could see some gusty winds this afternoon, but all in all, I'm not worried about a very windy day unless you're on the coastline. Dew point temperatures are in the 60s. And since those are matching with our temperatures, it is going to be a little bit humid. Now, when you combine that humidity with the calm winds and these temperatures, it means that we're going to get some fog. Now, Harlingen now registering at less than half a mile of visibility, all the way stretching up north towards northern Willisee County, Brownsville as well, and also stretching into Hidalgo. So don't be surprised if you come across an area of low visibility this morning. Make sure you avoid using those high beam headlights. Slow down, give yourself extra time, and make sure you're focused.